couple more questions, if that's okay. Seen this before? It's a DVD. The writing looks familiar, but no. <sighs> Suspicious Triple X DVD. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Where the fuck is Ryan at? Maybe he's at the pub. I reckon he's in the lounge. I, re I reckon he's in the restaurant. Nope. Let's go back. Rebecca. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Ask Ryan. Yeah, where the fuck is he? Be back later on, if that's okay. Check the woods. Oh, hello. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, Jesus! My hat! The DVD! That's all they took. It must have been deliberate. Someone clearly wanted that back. Nice and helpful of them to leave a piece of evidence behind, though. You got something in your nose, Jinx. Fuck me. Let's have a look. Monarch costumes. There's no use for the bag used in Jinx's mugging here. Let's go see Emma first. That'll give me the strength I need to carry on. Ask you a couple more things, please. Emma. Tell me about the monarchs. Do you uh, know the shop? Have you used it? No, but I know where it is. Yeah, where is it? Okay. Thank so you. Probably be back later. Call for backup. You've seen this? You know the shop? Yeah, yeah, I know the shop. I hired something from them last year, I think. This is for a party, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. Have you seen this before, anywhere? Well, I know the shop. A costume shop just outside the village. Ever used it? Not personally, but I think Ryan might have. Interesting. Thank you. Probably be back later. Probably be back later. Probably. Talk to his dad. Ask about a few more things, please. Have you seen this before? No, I don't think so. You don't recognise the shop? No. Is there someone else who works at Atlas? Someone who may have been there tonight? No. There's a cleaner. Comes at strange times, but then... He's a strange boy. Work experience. As a cleaner? Well, we did try him in accounts, but it didn't work out. Uh, interesting. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. James, help A couple me more out. questions, if that's OK. Seen this anywhere before? Nope. <sighs> Thanks, James. Be back later on, if that's okay. A strange young, sweet boy, as Mudder says. Yes, I remember him well. A strange, sweet young boy. Help me, hints. Call the chief, yeah, fuck yeah. Four things I haven't asked right about. Do you know why? I can't fucking find him! Chief! <laughs> oh, my, I was attacked. <clears throat> I'm sending back up drunks. Stay tight. Jenks. So I've been assaulted. Mugged. What did the tape? The hat? No. A DVD I found, sir. Was it a dodgy one? 
And I don't think so, sir, but obviously someone wanted it back. Put a bag over my head. What did they do that for? I have no idea. It's quite disorienting, actually. Did you keep the bag? Yes. Right, we'll find out where it came from. Someone must know about it. All right, Chief. I'll, I'll call later. Can't wait. Chief's taking the piss out of Jenks. <laughs> Take your fucking hat, Jenks. That stupid fucking hat, you fucking twat. This <laughs> is the chief signing off. Woodland? What do you mean, Woodland? There? I checked there. Nout. Check this, Scruffy. Get your fucking head up, your fucking hands, you nerd. You're fucking wrong. Oh, Woodland head in hands is wrong. Says nothing. I want a fucking apology, Chucky. A few more questions, please. Ah. Uh -huh. Do you visit Monarch Costumes a lot? No. I used to go in there occasionally. Why? But you do know the shop. Yes, of course I do. You see, Paul, I thought you said you didn't know where this bag was from. Well, maybe I do. This was used to put over my head, Paul, by a mugger. Would you like to tell me something? Are you suggesting that I had something to do with your mugging? Did you? Yep. You really ask the most ridiculous questions. Of course I didn't. So why did you lie about the shop? Well, uh, I didn't have anything to do with your mugging who mugged inspector, someone with but I bag? might know of somebody who did. Go on. Did Ryan mention Jason to you, the cleaner? Unfortunately, Ryan, at some point told Jason that the DVD mustn't be removed from the site. So, when he saw you take it, he simply thought that he was doing us a favour by uh, getting it back. He isn't exactly what you'd call one of Darwin's best example. So what's on the DVD that's so special? All right, it was something I did myself, a little stunt I pulled to amuse the students. What kind of stunt? I pretended to steal from the students. I emphasised the word pretended. The students knew all about it afterwards. Everything was above board. Steal from students? Why? We were doing a piece about pushing the limit, so I decided I... I would show them how it was done. Oh, don't look so serious, Inspector. I returned everybody's things immediately afterwards. No harm done. And when was this? Last year sometime. At Third Eye or Atlas? Third Eye, I think. And this was before or after Liam died? Well, since you'll probably find out anyway, it happened to be on the night that Liam died, as it happens. Before you ask. No. I didn't steal from him. Do you think it's a good idea to encourage students to steal, Paul? I wasn't encouraging students to steal. Policemen are so literal. Life is shades of grey, Inspector. Much as the force might like it, it doesn't divide neatly into blacks and whites. The force and racism no, in one if you don't quote. Mind, you don't Star have to Wars. Excuse me for a moment. You know where the door is. In. I see he was oh. quick enough to claim he didn't steal from Liam. What kind of stunt was that anyway? And Liam dying later the same night? It's just all a bit too suspicious. Emma. Emma! Emma, I missed you. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Oh, wait. What do you know about Paul Rand? Paul the Slime. You've obviously met him, then. Yes, I have. What do you know about him committing a fake theft during one of the courses? What, about him going through people's bags? Yeah, he tried that thing on me as well, weirdo. So you were at Third Eye? Yes. Yes, I, I went there for a few months after college and I left because I hated it. And I didn't know Atlas was the same thing. And I went with Simon. Does Simon know that? No. I didn't want to burst his bubble, so I... Didn't say anything. So he doesn't know you went to Third Eye? No. Ah! So is that where you met Ryan as well? Yep. Right. What uh, What didn't you like about the course? Well, it was just... It was stupid. They just made you do things 
to other people and be abusive just to prove that you could, and I absolutely hated it. What sort of things? Oh, just stupid things. Nasty things to prove that you could do it. It was about not feeling guilty. And it was horrible. That's why I left. And it's that accent? All this what stuff the now? fuck is that no. accent? No, I, I think they had to stop because it was just getting ridiculous. I think somebody got arrested or something. Very interesting. What do you know about Paul stealing money from students? Part of a stunt or something? What, did he do that? I, I've never heard about anything like that. No, it might be part of the risk-taking thing, though. Explain that. Well, it's, it's part of the course. You have to do something dangerous or risky, uh, something you wouldn't normally do. Something dangerous? Well, not dangerous, just, just risky. Like, um, saying something you wouldn't normally say to someone or uh, doing something unusual. Like stealing from other students. Well, we didn't do anything like that, but you have to tell everyone at the end of the course anyway. And you're not allowed to do anything that would hurt or offend anyone. Or you're not allowed to do anything really bad. It's all pretend, really. <sighs> Seems a bit old for a business course. It works, though. Does it, Simon? Is that why you drive a bicycle to work? I'm just saying, homie. Called a Margaret Thatcher. That means you're a failure. Thank you. Probably be back later. He does look like Matt Smith. Rebecca and Ryan. I want to talk to Ryan so bad. Let's talk to Rebecca. Half Irish, half Spanish. Interesting. She's got a, such a strange accent, I couldn't put my finger on it. Ping! A few more questions, if you don't mind. Rebecca! What do you think about this? Did Nothing. you know Thank about you. Paul's money stealing at Atlas? Are you talking about a particular incident or just in general? It's something he did on the course. Stunt. And what did he do exactly? Oh, well, he pretended to steal from the students. That doesn't ring a bell. Paul's stunts usually involve throwing fancy dress parties with scantily clad girls or women dressed as nurses. That's his usual fetish. When was the last you party you were he threw? Saying? Um, When's the next sometime one? Sometime in the summer. I didn't stay long. Summer. Shit. Fuck. We missed that one. Thank you. Probably be back later. Chief, I'm scared. I'm alone. I don't know what to do. Jenks. Jenks. Got something useful to tell me, Jenks? Chief, I found out that Emma was in a band with Liam, the student who died last year. Uh, what does she know about Liam? Not much. She wasn't there when he died. Well, make sure she wasn't. Find out who was there that night. Work out what night it was. Uh, make sure Paul Rand wasn't involved. And we have a phone's ringing. Call me back, Jenks. Righto, Chief. Chief is putting in fucking overtime. All right. Uh, honestly, lads, I, I I don't know where to find Ryan at this point. I do not know where to find Ryan. It was on holiday the night Liam died. Ah, yes, good shout, ah. Emma. Good shout. So you witnessed Paul's money stealing stunt, is that right? Yes. But you weren't there when Liam died. No. <gasps> quite understand that, you see, because Paul pulled the stunt on the same night. Liam died later that evening. Um, I, uh, I must have mixed up. So you don't know anything about Liam's death, even though you were there on that night? Mm, no. Emma. I think you better explain, don't you? Explain, lovely Emma. Well, it was the stupid cause, wasn't it? Go on. <sighs> well, we were all told to do stupid things and... And then that thieving thing happened, and so... Take a breath, Emma. <sighs> Liam killed himself because of me. Why? Um... Liam had a... a birthmark on the side of his face. And no one would mention anything, even though we all knew it was there. And we all thought, they all thought it was ugly. So I thought I'd say something and I... I even asked Paul if it was okay to say it. What did he say? He said it was 
said he wouldn't mind. Then Liam killed himself. Liam is dead because of me. Well, Emma, I'm quite sure you regret what you said, but I really don't think you caused Liam's death. There's always more to these things than meets the eye. It wasn't your fault. We can't oh, tell Simon, please. Simon doesn't need to know. Don't worry. Thank you. Emma. <laughs> Shit, sorry, Emma, it's 9 p.m. I've got to go. Achievement! Oh, Emma, I've got an achievement. Poor Emma. I suppose I mean it's possible I mean that what she said led to Liam's death, but I really doubt it. I blame the Rands before I blame her. Go tell Simon, you're a monster. Yes. A few more questions, please. Thank you. The music is a little loud. What do you know about your father's money-stealing stunt? Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, that was something that Dan decided to do uh, as part of the shock aspect of the course. But he went too far, you believe. <laughs> he usually does. And do you think it did have anything to do with Liam's death? No, 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 no. Liam wasn't like that at all. I mean, that was just a simple, unfortunate coincidence. I mean, Liam had his own problems, but he didn't have any problems with the money shock stunt. No. Do you know what this is? Well, I think it's a bag. <laughs> is it a bag, Inspector? The shop. <laughs> oh, yes, the costume shop. Yes, we used to hire from them. For the course? Well, yes. For the course, at the end of each stage, we have a, a, a little party and we ask students to dress up or try acting out uh, being somebody new. They're new selves, as it were. Could you explain a bit more? New selves? Hmm. One of the main elements of the course is learning yeah. how to act, how to be whoever you need to be in any given situation. I think you'll agree, Inspector, that business is about being the right person in the right situation at the right time. What he does, it, it helps them to detach themselves, <laughs> become somebody new, pretend, you know, you know, that kind of thing. It's surprising what a little bit of cross-dressing can do for you, Inspector. You should try it. Mm, Not at this Fucking <laughs> wallop. If he was holding the can of special brew, you'd think about him very differently. That's all I'm saying. Can you tell me about auto-hypnosis? No. What would you like to know? Do you use it on the course? We dip into it occasionally, but uh, it's not a major feature of the course. I would say that, well, a minority of the students know how to use it, but the majority wouldn't know and have a clue. It's not a requirement of the course? No, not at all. We don't, we don't ask people to do things that they're not comfortable with. There's no bribery, no coercion. Uh, we're thinking about phasing auto-hypnosis out, actually. What's the reason for that? Uh, well, well, to be perfectly honest with you, Inspector, it doesn't actually work very well. Interesting. What about your... Uh, I didn't realise you were a musician. Oh, well, I'm not really a musician. I mean, I, 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 <laughs> I dabble a little bit. To be quite honest with you, I'm far more interested in collecting guitars. You're not in a band. Uh, well, I, I did audition. I did audition a few years ago. When I say a few years ago, of course, I mean about 20 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't time fly? <laughs> what band was that? Oh, I can't remember. Something led, Stone. Led something. And they all called Something Stone. Hammerstone. <clears throat> That's it. And you still collect? Um, I haven't bought a guitar for over a year. I feel I've moved on. Tell me about... So tell me more burns. about this doll burning. It's a symbolic ceremony we perform every few weeks on the court. What's it about? It's about burning your old personality and finding a new one, a better one. So the dolls are... You. They represent you from the past. Each doll has a picture of the student as a child or a teenager. Uh, and they Dangerous burn the doll shit. and symbolically destroy their old personality. It's quite yeah, simple, but effective, I find. And yeah, why did that girl shout? Because it's an emotional thing. She, 
quite clearly become very attached to her doll. They do spend the first month with them. We tell them to take the doll everywhere with them before they actually go through the doll burning. And you believe that's a good thing? Destroying your past? Of course it's a good thing, Inspector. We're all shackled to our past, particularly you by the sound of it, perhaps. Perhaps we should make a doll of you, Inspector, and burn that. What do you think? No, thank you. You're probably right. I'm not sure it would do any good anyway. Fuck you! Fuck you! What do you know about Emma Bowman criticising Liam before his suicide? I was there. I witnessed it. Uh, well, I, I know Emma blamed herself for his death. Did she? Well, she was upset and all of that, but... Um, I wouldn't blame her, Inspector. I, I really <laughs> don't think she had anything to do with it at all. You don't think? Liam was a very confident person, very outgoing, very strong individual, or so it seemed. I mean, people are free to do what they like. Even something as irreversible as bumping themselves off. Sad though that is, of course. Fuck this guy. Ask you a couple more things, please. Do you think Emma's criticism of Liam on that last night led to his suicide? I doubt it helped. Did you encourage Emma to criticise him? I didn't encourage Emma to do anything. I merely told her what we tell every student to do, to express themselves as they want to. It would be out of order to criticise them after that, wouldn't it? However, I didn't expect her to criticise his birthmark, if that's what it was. That's a decision she took herself. So you didn't know her well? No, not at all. And on that note, we're going to call it a day. I have to go to bed. Uh, I will see you guys for more contradiction tomorrow evening. Uh, we're going to crack this case, y'all. I can't wait to see how it turns out. I have my suspicions. Lovely Emma has to be innocent. If there's a choice at the end where we let Emma go free and move into a house with her and live happily ever after, even if that's a losing choice, I'm taking it. I'm just warning you. If I can do anything to help Emma, I'm helping her. She's delightful. See you next time.